Jim, the announcement of the 495 came as a uh, welcome relief to the folks in the sport aviation industry who basically said, love the 496. Uh, the only thing to make it better is lower the price. And here you have, uh, you didn't dumb it down. It's basically uh, a 496 without XM, but and uh, at a price that even a sport aviation ad adherent is going to love. Yeah, uh, the, the 495 is a uh, tremendous product, a great perfect uh, uh, product uh, niche and, and area there for it. It does include uh, the uh, AOPA airport directory, uh, safe taxi, enhanced terrain mapping, uh, 5 hertz per second GPS update rate, uh, VFR reporting waypoints uh, for our folks over in Europe, uh, private airports here domestically. Um, we also have audio output now for uh, terrain alerting. And it also does have the, uh, the TIS traffic interface. So if uh, somebody has a uh, MODIS uh, 330 transponder, they can have that wired in there, and it's a, a cost-effective way to display traffic on a uh, portable handheld GPS product. So most decidedly not a dumbed-down 496. Not at all, not at all. The only thing that it's missing, like you mentioned before, is the, uh, um, the XM weather and radio capability. And we've also removed the automotive uh, city streets and residential streets. Uh, you still, still can add on the, uh, the city streets and residential streets uh, with a modular chip in our software package. Cirrus aircraft have always been easy to fly. Now they're easier than ever to buy. A complete line of ownership programs gives you everything you need to purchase, trade, finance, lease, insure, and warranty your Cirrus. There's even an ownership program for non-pilots. The Cirrus Access Pilot can teach you how to fly or fly the plane for you. Find out more at www.cirrusdesign.com. Cirrus, for the love of flying. 495 is shipping now, and uh, we are selling that. Uh, list price on that is uh, 15.95. What was the genesis for the decision of 495? You, you locked up the market with the 496. It's not like you couldn't sell every one that you ever built. Yeah. Well, just like you said before, um, we were getting a lot, a lot of comments and feedback of folks that that were uh, um, interested in the 496, but really didn't need the uh, the more elaborate weather capability uh, and, and radio capability that's included in the uh, the 496. So we came up with the 495 as a, a great product niche to uh, to basically fill a void. We needed a a, a more up-to-date uh, GPS handheld uh, in that particular region. We were selling uh, still a number of uh, 296s, so it, it really is the perfect step up from a 296 um, to a 495. VFR great situation awareness, gives you extended runway uh, um, extensions, uh, obstacles, terrain is included, high resolution terrain is included, uh, just a whole laundry list of great features and capabilities. What's the initial feedback from the industry? It's going really well. Uh, we sold a number of uh, units at Sun and Fun and uh, I think we'll continue to see that to be a successful product for us uh, going forward. But the question is, is it, is it cut out the 496 market, or do you find it be complementary? Not at all. It's a it's a complementary market. I think that the uh, the 496 is still king at the top of the uh, the hill, and and will continue that direction for quite some time. Today, there is an affordable, high performance, easy to own, and easy to operate, very light jet designed with you in mind. Far less expensive than any other twin engine jet to buy, it is also the least expensive to own and operate. It is the Eclipse 500, the jet that's easy to buy, easy to fly, and fun to own. The jet for you. All right, so uh, the first thing I'll take a look at here is uh, some of the uh, enhanced uh, terrain mapping that we see on the unit itself. Like I said before, it, uh, it is 10 times better resolution on the terrain mapping, so if you just look at the display there, uh, you really see the, the emphasis of the, the mountainous areas and such forth uh, with the, uh, the better resolution uh, terrain mapping. Uh, another feature that we have on here is uh, called Safe Taxi. Um, I will uh, zoom in tight on this for you here. We were uh, we were talking about all the uh, you know the runway incursions and, and stuff like that that always catches the, the media attention and the general population. Uh, you know it's it's products like Safe Taxi that that really. Um, add value and safety in the cockpit and, and make us all safer pilots. And uh, the nice thing about our safe taxi implementation here is you really do see exactly where you're positioned at on a taxiway airport diagram. Uh, you see the, uh, the taxiway identifications. Uh, you also get other general information uh, on what's at the airport. There are uh, hotspots also identified. Uh, the safe taxi data is uh, actually collected from uh, uh, Safe Flight 21 airports. There's about 80 of those um, that are available. In addition to uh, something else that we've done for the NACO data, we've actually, uh, Garmin has its own in-house cartography department, and so we take uh, the NACO data, digitize that ourselves, and then uh, that allows us to get over 850 airport diagrams available on the, uh, the unit itself. And uh, so that's a U.S.-based product primarily, and uh, it, it, I think it's a wonderful thing for, uh, for the general population and the enhanced situational awareness. 
Smart airspace is another new feature um, that's included into the, uh, the 495. What it does is it actually emphasizes the airspace that you may be flying through. So um, some pilots are flying along, they don't want to be, uh, get the nuisance airspace alerts. And so what smart airspace does is it does it visually for you. And it knows, obviously GPS knows the altitude that you're flying at. And as we look here um, <clears throat> at the map, you notice that the uh, the rings around uh, BWI over here um, are a little bit bolder than, than some of the, the outer rings. And so uh, we can actually tell that we're at an altitude that's going to penetrate that airspace. And that's what smart airspace is doing for us. Uh, we've got a dedicated AOPA tab for Frederick, Maryland going in there. Uh, you can see the facility time. Uh, there's noise abatement procedures, obstructions that are available, pattern altitudes, pattern directions, uh, runway environment, uh, lights, how they're available, and any other notes that might be available for the individual airport. Um, all the facilities that are on the airport there. So it really is kind of a handy little database um, to be able to flip through as you're, as you're planning for a trip. Uh, a lot of the, the great things about the, uh, the Garmin Handheld Product Series is all the information that we can provide the pilot even before they take off. So uh, this is a great, great uh, trip planning utility and, and tool, and the AOP Airport Directory just takes that one step further. Jim, we look forward to trying one out for ourselves, and we thank you for your time. Well, thank you for coming out. Appreciate it.